Okay, welcome Danny Bossa. Welcome viewers to the video. Danny, uh, I see a lot of people asking in our Facebook group as well as personal messages about uh, combining testosterone injections with cream. So the question is, is there any point in combining testosterone cream and injections? And if not, why are some doctors recommending it? And if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe so you can learn more about fitness and nutrition, hormones and anti-aging, all this to optimize your life overall. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Okay. <laughs> this is one of those questions I just gotta... Can you take injections and cream? Sure. You can take just the injections, you can take just the cream, you can take the injections and put the cream on your arms, on your forehead, you can put it up your butt, you can put it on your feet, you can put it on your, wherever the hell you want. For me, it changes nothing. You're free to do what you want. Should you? No. Why? Guys, you tend to overcomplicate everything. If you're not feeling the way that you think you should be feeling, you think that there's something wrong with your protocol and it needs to change. And you're seeing all of these crazy protocols, uh, like the Jim Meehan Man Up protocol, where there's all these different things given. It is, it is a complete and utter waste of your money and waste of your time. When I say waste of your time, it's because it's going to take you that much longer to get dialed in. The main thing with the cream is that you get this DHT boost and the DHT boost will give you a boost of libido. For some guys, it can kind of be cause a little bit of acne. DHT has been known to accelerate hair loss if you're already genetically predisposed. If you've never had acne in your life and you get a boost in DHT, you're not gonna get acne. Uh, if you're not prone to hair loss and you get a boost in DHT, you're not gonna suddenly get all your hair is gonna go out. You know, If you look at my case, my hair was already thinning out before TRT and when I started TRT, that process accelerated a little bit and I'm not even on the cream. Uh, you know, perhaps if I was on the cream, it would have accelerated a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, don't really care. Um, some of you reported, you know, I've got too much libido on the cream because of the boost in DHT and my libido is out of control. My wife and I giggle about that because there's no such thing for Irish and Italians to have libido out of control. Uh, it's just kind of the standard. Um, you know, they want to lower that, that amount. Well, basically you just lower your dose. You know, if you're, if you're taking the cream and your, your libido is just completely out of control, well, maybe it's a little bit much. You're, you're not dealing with it quite that well. Your levels may be a little bit too high. Just reduce your, your, your dose. There's no reason, real reason to say, well, I'm going to take some testosterone through injections to keep my levels up. And then I'll take a little bit of the cream just to boost my DHT and then if that doesn't work, okay, well, maybe I'll apply the cream to my feet because then I'll get less. You're just throwing so many damn things into the mix and it overcomplicates everything. We'd like to keep things simple. Just pick a protocol. Right now I'm on injections. My wife's breastfeeding and we were concerned about any of the cream transferring to her and then potentially transferring to the baby, which is a, it's a, valid, it's a valid concern. I feel great on the injections. Everyone's telling me that on the cream to feel better. Keith says he finds these guys are feeling better on the cream. I feel fine. Uh, my libido is great. My erections are great. I'm always in a good mood. Uh, I'm staying lean. Uh, I haven't trained for quite some time, and I've got muscle on me. Uh, I've got energy. I sleep. I sleep well. I'm generally in a good mood. My my brain works well. I'm optimized. That's it. I found a dose that worked for me that got all of these things, all of these things uh, established, and that's my dose. I have tried being the experimenter that I am to say, well, what happens if I take more? Will I feel even better than what I'm feeling now? For those of you in the group who know me, I'm, I need to take a significantly higher dose than most of you need to. I haven't quite figured out why yet. Right now, I'm on 300 milligrams a week, which for some guys would be a lot. For some guys, that would bring their total T to like 1,800, maybe even 2,000, okay? On 250, my total T was about 1,000. On 300, I haven't measured it yet since I've been on 300. Um, you know, my free T on 250 was like 28. So I'm going to guess my free T right now is probably sitting somewhere in the 30s, maybe even almost 40. I don't really care. I feel great. I haven't done the labs. No harm adding some. Um, I, I experimented with 
If I would take even more, would I feel better? I jacked up my dose temporarily to 400 milligrams a week. And I gave it a couple of weeks and I felt exactly the same. I jacked it up even to 500 milligrams. Obviously I had to get some on the side and I did it as a little experiment. And the only thing I noticed is that my libido started to wane. And when I went got back down to 300, which is my original dose, I'm back to where I was before, everything's great. There are too many of you that think that you're gonna get a reaction way quicker than reality. I'll give you an example. Yesterday morning, I gave myself my injection. I typically give myself injection in the morning, but sometimes I get busy, I get a phone call, I get an email of my wife, they get the baby, there's stuff going on and I only take it in the afternoons. Maybe I'll only take it at night. It doesn't matter when I'm taking it, it's irrelevant. Yesterday, I took my dose in the morning and later on that afternoon, I was wondering, did I take my dose? I couldn't remember, I said, I don't think I did. So I went and I gave myself another dose. And just as I was done, my wife came in. She says, oh, you gave yourself a dose this morning. Oh, I, I completely forgot. So I gave myself a double dose that day. Guess what? The world didn't end. I didn't suddenly be like, oh, my God, we need to have sex 10 times today because now I'm all hopped up on the testosterone. Uh, I didn't have anxiety. I didn't have uh, breakouts in acne or feelings of rage. or No. You know what I felt? The same. It made no difference. Even when I jacked my dose up to 500 milligrams, it took weeks until that new dose had any type of effect that I could assess. And I started seeing slowly after a few weeks, like, oh, I find libido's kind of, I don't feel as good. I don't feel like quite in a good mood. I feel just kind of dragging. I don't really have that much motivation. And I, after a few days, I said, well, that's the only thing I've changed. I went back to my dose and everything's fine. You guys are overcomplicating things. There's so many of these questions going on in the group. But what if I, you know, if I add the injections to the cream, am I going to feel better? What if I add some of this? And what if I add some of this? And what if I add some of this? And the reality is, is that guys, you know, guys like me or guys like you, Stephen, that are already what we call optimized, we don't even think about this stuff. We're not constantly trying to figure out what's wrong with our protocol because we feel good. I wake up in the morning, I take my shower, I give myself my injection, I get dressed and I'm on my day and I don't even think about it, okay? Obviously, if I didn't take my testosterone for two weeks, I'm gonna feel that something's off. Um, but I don't. I don't have the same questions that a lot of these guys in the group are trying to complicate everything. And if you're gonna take injections and cream and now you still have an issue, what are you gonna do? Well, do I raise the cream? Or do I raise the injections and lower the cream? Do I, how the hell are you gonna figure it out? Just pick one, pick one damn thing that you can either raise or lower and assess it after many, 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 many weeks that that new dose has had time to take effect. Okay, that's, that's just the reality of things. The other thing you guys gotta keep in mind is there's no legit doctor that is gonna, is gonna suggest that you do such a thing. Why? How many of you have had to fake low T, you know, or we're on testosterone and said, well, I'm going to tell my doctor I took my dose yesterday, but I'm actually going to wait a week till my levels drop so that it can justify the treatment I'm taking. Many of you. Why? Because the amount of normal testosterone we have these days just isn't enough because we're basically poisoned by these EDCs. And frankly, if you've got a 600, even 700 uh, total testosterone, as an example, you could have all the symptoms of low T and the doctors will say you're normal. Okay. We need to take more. And there are very few physicians that understand this sufficiently to, 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 to know what they're doing enough to say, I need to get your levels much higher than you used to. We're going into the super physiological ranges, okay, guys? There's nobody here that is optimized that is in the, uh, the, the, the clinical range. I, I went to war with this guy on T Nation yesterday, uh, last couple of days who insists that his labs are perfect because he's at the top of the range. His total T was 900 and his free T was 20 and his E2 was at 30 because he's taking an AI and he says, my numbers are perfect. Who the hell gives a shit about numbers? I don't. I haven't done labs in ages. Why? I feel fantastic. Testosterone's never been demonstrated to cause harm. E2 has never been demonstrated to cause harm. DHT has never been demonstrated to cause harm. And every single time I've done a blood test and I've done my CBCs and I've done my cholesterol and I've done all these other things, they've all pretty much stayed the same. 
So I'm not panicking now about my protocol the way a lot of you guys panic. And this guy had to have his stuff in the range. And I'm just looking at even just pictures of the guy and he looked kind of chubby and chubby. Like, he didn't look like a man to me, okay? You can't get optimized anymore and think of these ranges. Take the range, and I say this in every single podcast, I'm gonna say it again, take the range and throw it out the window. Just throw it out the window. You increase dose gradually over time and assess after several weeks until your symptoms resolve. And that's it. Okay, that's it. You guys are overcomplicating things. And this TRT thing, once you understand it, is the simplest thing ever. Add testosterone, assess after several weeks. You got a symptom, add a little bit more. Give it six weeks. No symptoms, that's your dose. Done. End of story, okay? Um, the guys that, 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 that think that their doctors are going to want to justify uh, was getting I was getting to doing both the creams and injections is that there's, like I was saying, there's very few doctors that are going to get you to a super physiological dose to resolve your symptoms. These doctors are already under heavy, heavy, heavy scrutiny from the medical boards. Okay. They're under pressure. Some of them are getting, you see it in the news all the time. Some of them are getting in trouble. Uh, some of them are losing their licenses. Um, can you imagine a doctor like that who has gotten somebody's levels high enough to resolve their symptoms, but had two different methods of testosterone. Oh, I give them cream and I give them this. There is no studies, there's no clinical research, there's nothing that he can use to justify this method of administration. There's nothing. So if the medical boards come down on him, just by just the, the fact that he has got their levels up is already, he's going to really have to justify, well, I get their levels up because of this, because of BDCs, and because, you know, he had symptoms, and now that they're up, the symptoms are resolved, so it's fine. Add into the fact that I give him two methods of administration. He does both injections. They're going to say, where the hell is the proof that any of this, it just, it adds a, a fuel to the fire for these physicians. Keith Nichols, as an example, would never do such a thing. He just won't. He's already under heavy scrutiny for getting people feeling the way that they're feeling. And he and, and Dr. Scott Howell now are doing the research and doing the studies to be able to actually provide the literature to the medical boards and say, look, what we're doing is legit. This is the way it should be doing. They are now working on providing all of this proof because everything that Stephen, you and I are doing, you're having your free tea at 60. You talk to people that have been doing the regular TRT stuff for, for ages and they think that you're, you know, you're, on, you're on steroids. Okay, my free tea is at 30 or 40. Um, somebody need, needed to do the research to bring, this, uh, to bring this literature to the masses so that everyone says, sees, okay, it's safe, I can do this. If I have this issue, here's the, you know, the, the, the optimal range, forget this clinical range. Uh, and they're doing that right now. They're also going to be doing studies on different methods of application. You know, if I apply to the scrotum, what's my, to my uh, free T and where's, where's my DHT? If I apply it to the tops of my feet, maybe if I apply it to my neck, maybe if I top, apply it to any other thin-skinned areas, what is going to be the difference of absorption going to be? These are all questions a lot of you guys in the group are asking, and we don't really have the answers because, frankly, no one's done the studies. Uh, Dr. Nichols and Dr. Howard are going to be doing that. So to answer your question, uh, uh, Stephen, do I think anyone should be doing two methods of administration? No. The only way that you're gonna be optimized is to keep things as absolutely simple as possible. And normally just testosterone will be enough. Get you to start with just, like I say in every podcast, just start with testosterone, figure out the dose where you feel best. If you surpass that best dose for you and you go a little higher, you're gonna start feeling not quite as good. And you're gonna realize, okay, my best dose is you know 200 milligrams a week. Or if in the case of the cream, my best dose is 100 milligrams twice daily. Okay? okay. And you cannot think of what I'm doing today, I'm going to feel it right away. You know, I, I, I applied, I've been applying 100 milligrams of my cream twice daily. It's been three days. Um, and I have questions and I'm like, guy, this, like, just apply it and go out about your day. In six weeks from now, assess. This is not something that's going to have immediate effect. It just, it just won't. Simplify things, and once you're optimized, you can add one other little thing and test that one thing at a time. That's it. This, this TRT stuff is so simple, and you guys make it so complicated, and it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Keep it simple, guys. I tr trust me, it's the best advice I can give you. Okay, thank you, Danny. That's very clear. 
Thanks. <laughs> okay. Let's things up. Have Long a good one. and wife you have sitting there in the sun on the coach. Congratulations. Yeah. You can send a wave. <laughs> All right. You have yourself a good one. Okay. Thanks, Danny. All right.